course, we have the soldering iron, the derpy chicken, and the soldering iron. And we have an IBM Model M2 keyboard here that has its notorious problem with bad caps. These are the caps right there, these solid capacitors. Let there be light. Much better light. These always go bad. I've not seen a Model M2 that wasn't bad due to bad capacitors. One thing to note, it's also got a fuse right there. It's full of power. Much, much power. We have a Radio Shack soldering iron. We have capacitors. Replacement capacitors. Yay! We're replacing the solid caps with mylar in hopes that that will work. Yep. So, copied the UF and voltages exactly, so I got two capacitors to replace with. It should work. Assuming, yep. the, assuming the tolerance doesn't matter that much. So, Skyrim. More Skyrim. Step one, how to solder on a wooden desk. Get a giant rock. Yep. So, we got it re-soldered. This is the repair finito. Now let's see if it works. Now hopefully mylar caps work. Although I've heard you can use electrolytics to do this, so it should work fine. Ooh, not put paper this just that. almost hit the soldering iron. That Yay! would have been bad. <laughs> Here is the cable we're reattaching. Thank you. I love this thing because it's got... What? It's okay. Got the IBM logo on the cable there, if you can see it. Yeah, look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And this and is what's the on the end of the cable. It has a little four-pin connector. And a grounding wire. And a ground wire. I'm going to unplug this side. Yeah. Hey, hold that in place so I don't, like, kill myself. I have to hold the soldering okay. iron for him. Another cool thing about the rock, you can let it sit somewhere that you won't step on it and let it pull off forever. Aw, oh, yeah. Lock the door or Ricky will kill you. That Snail. Like a reminder for me to end, so. Yep. Let's reattach this. So that Jaden doesn't destroy the basement. Yep. Do, do, do. It looks like look at all those springs. Yep. Aha, that's what we're looking for. Okay. So these were mechanical. They were buckling spring after all. Yep. Proof that this keyboard is buckling spring. It actually has a spring. That's gonna be the fun part to get back together. Yeah, that's oh, gonna you suck. You should be. Glowing goo. Glowing green goo. Set it on fire. <laughs> Aww. But it's nuclear. My first reaction to everything is to set it on fire. So, we're going to use this Dell as a sacrificial machine, and hopefully I won't blow out my motherboard with it. It's only capacitors. What could go wrong? Um, I would not have PS2 ports anymore. That's what could go wrong. <laughs> so let's start this up. We had light up there for a second, like it always it did. It lit up. Oh, oh. Yay! It's working. It's working. Yay! Yep, the numlock thing is showing up exactly like it's supposed to. Oh, this is a revolution. We found out how. Okay, cool. Speak the truth. Okay. So we figured out what we were doing wrong. We were trying to put the springs in with the keycaps still in, and that doesn't work very well. <laughs> it doesn't work so, at all. It's so infuriating. So we're going to take all these keycaps out of the Model M2, because that's the first step of disassembling a keyboard, taking the damn keycaps out. Herp derp. Derp, 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 derp. So we're working on that, and soon we will have a working Model M2 keyboard. All right, we have the M2. All the springs are put in. We lost one somehow, somewhere along the line. So put the plastic mat on top of it. Or whatever, no it's not a plastic mat, it's like a felt thing. I don't yep, know what that is. Whatever it is, whatever. Let me take the actual back of the keyboard and stick it right on there.
Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. All the springs. Now I can start putting these back in. Yay, and now I can put the keycaps back in. You'll be able to see a finished keyboard. As you drop keycaps everywhere. Oh god. Everywhere. Okay, here we are like a month later. Yay. <laughs> Fixing this damn keyboard again, which we replaced the caps on a while back. As an added bonus, we'll be combining it with a Radeon HD 6970. Whoa, it's science, man! No, we kid. Aww. <laughs> it's pseudoscience. Anyhow, look at all these springs. We decided to order more springs off of the interwebs. Because we're missing springs. And then put them into there. And he's petting his graphics card. Like a kitten. No, it's just a stupid... I swear, the next time this thing's hot, I'm going to turn off the computer, pull it out, and just peel this thing off, because it does nothing. All it does is warping. Yeah, that was a stupid idea on Vision Tech's part. No, we just need to use better adhesive that isn't... Hey, it, it's above room temperature. I'm going to melt. <laughs> Well, that in your case is probably pretty hot, too. So. No, it does. All right, we're doing stuff. Right here. So we have all the buttons removed. What threw us off last time was we were missing, like, six springs. Yeah, so we couldn't finish the job right away. So. And don't sit on the laptop. We bought springs. Yes, don't sit on the laptop. Uh, and that, and laptop, laptop. that laptop has a reference picture. Hosting our reference. I'm going to move your tripod for a second. Okay. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> that laptop is... This Dell Inspiron 8100 is hosting the, pic, the reference picture for this keyboard. So we can actually tell which springs go where. I'll let you see that real quick. It's a page on GeekHack that has uh, that information, actually, if you want to look it up yourself. Just to go, just go to Model N2 Repair on, through Google, and it should be like one of the first, if not the first, uh, link. Off. There we go. Look at those old crappy capacitors, and you just totally hey. dropped one. Hey. <laughs> it's not dropped yet. Okay. Hey. Hey. Curse you. Anyway, to recap, we had to replace these capacitors. To recap, we had to recap. Exactly. <laughs> We replace those with these. With these nice, what you little yellow? What are these? Mylar caps? Yes, yeah, mylar caps. Mylar caps. Identical in functionality, but I don't know exactly how much difference it will make. It works when we plugged it in, so yeah. you can put electrolytics in there even, and it'll work. So there we go. Now all we got to do is respring the hardware. And let's skip. And let's skip that part because boring. <laughs> <laughs> and we have put all the springs back in and we didn't film it because it was boring yay we had to put it on on the we had to like balance it on a bunch it's on two dvds <laughs> and then pro meticulously tip. pro tip when you're halfway done don't pick it up and drop it <laughs> yes that's a very very good idea because you'll have to do it all over again now the next part re yay you just dropped one. I know. Okay. Peace. We are frustrated. <laughs> We've had to take it apart three more times because of springs. The good news, we're getting extraordinarily talented at removing the top cover. <laughs> That'll be all. <laughs> Look at that. Only some of them have fallen over. Not all of them. My fingers hurt. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> uh, uh, back to square one! Wah, wah, wah. Okay, at long last, we finally finished this damn keyboard, apart from the two key on the number pad. It broke. Because the keycap itself, the little plastic tabs on it, broke. Why did it break? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Is that keyboard just... Baloney. And that keyboard wants you to be... That keyboard is just trying to waste your time at this point. I think so. It really is. And my money, but... 
I want it to work. Oh, Let's well. see if it works. We're going to test it on this Dell Inspiron 8100. Aw, yeah. Zoom in on those lights there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there we go. It's working. It's working, man. Wait for it to boot up first. Dude. It doesn't it's not blinking the uh the caps lock and scroll lock lights anymore, which is good. Yeah, really. We know it's working now. You gotta wait for it to boot. I know. I like pressing buttons. Notepad! Woo! -hoo. What better way to test out a keyboard than notepad? Oh man. Space work. That's good. The keyboard's oh, in the way of my picture. There. Does two even work? You have to put the key on it for it to work. Oh, really? Yeah. Take the broken keycap. Okay. There's the broken keycap. Oh, look at that. We have it, too. So now all you need is a new keycap, and you'll be good. Well, there we go. We have successfully re-soldered the capacitors on this keyboard, and now it works. And that's the only problem with these M2s. The M2s are famous for it, but it is fixable quite easily. As long as you don't fall into the spring trap. Make sure yeah. the first time all the springs are right, and you won't spend two hours putting springs back in a keyboard. One thing I should mention is there's a picture on Geek Hack forums we were following, and they failed to put the spring under the backslash and pipe key. That cost us 20 minutes. Yeah. Other than that, to the, to the guy on Geek Hack, take the picture after you put the spring in. <laughs> Thank you. See that? That's a spring. That's supposed to go there, too. There we go. But yes, we have success with the IBM Model M2. These are very restorable, and they seem to be a little bit more fragile than the original Model M's, but they're still quite nice keyboards. And... That is the restoration of the IBM Model M2. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao. Skyrim!